Hey, good morning from beautiful Southern Nevada. Hey, you know, I don't know if this is going to be a positive review or negative review. So let's get two things straight right, right from the beginning, okay? One, this is a piece of crap. And two, just so there's no confusion, um, Car Firearms now owns the brand name Thompson Auto Ordnance, and they produce a 1911. This one was made before all of that happened. This is an older version made in the 1980s, 1990s, and it was made in uh, West Hurley, New York, and it was assembled by Numrich uh, Gun Parts, and we'll talk about that here in a moment. So, no relation between the new Thompson uh, auto ordinance and this older one okay so again this one's a piece of crap so let's get started if you look at some of the older reviews on this uh, pistol probably 80 percent of them are negative and the reason for that was Thompson wasn't a, a company it was actually just a brand name owned by Numrich and basically that's just a, a gun parts supplier so what they did was they just used various parts and put these together and unfortunately they used a lot of inferior parts and we'll talk about that here in a moment so if this is a piece of crap why did I buy it well a friend her husband passed away and she found this in the house and she just didn't want it so I gave her a, a fair price for it and uh, did a little research and found out eh, you know I'm glad I bought it but uh, anyways I have shot this and I was getting a lot of misfires and I looked at the firing pin and the back end of the firing pin was starting to flare out or mushroom out and it was becoming shorter so when that hammer hit it it was just I was getting light primer strikes and a lot of misfires so the first thing I did on this was I replaced the firing pin so everything else except I think the grips and the two-piece uh, recoil rod everything else is uh, factory stock in this again I just replaced the firing pin but unfortunately they just use a lot of crappy internal parts for instance if you look at the uh, the grip safety here let me show you what it, what this one looks like so here's my auto ordinance grip safety as you can see there's not much play right there now in this Ruger 1911 look at the big difference here so what I have to do is I have to replace the sear spring now the sear spring actually has three functions and one of them is to, to push this safety back out so I have to replace that sear spring now this does operate just fine so I'm gonna shoot it like this I have ordered parts for this but I wanted to shoot it as much as factory stock as possible so if I have any problems you guys can see what's gonna happen so let's take a look at the safety on this okay the factory safety has not been correctly fitted to this pistol if you look at it here when I flip it up it's kind of mushy and it will click when I when I bring it down now the safety is working okay so I'm gonna continue to use it like this but it is a piece of crap this is what it should sound and look like see that big difference so I do have some parts on the way I've got the sear spring I've got the main spring coming I'm gonna replace the sear um, you know it the gun looks brand new doesn't look like it's been fired a whole lot and it probably hasn't especially if I was getting misfires with that uh, bad firing pin anyways you know what I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna put some rounds through this and see what happens okay okay you know what time to shut up and shoot this is either gonna work or it's not so if we have any problems we'll stop and take a look see what's going on but uh, let's just start off shooting some still plates all right we're gonna start off with 200 grain semi wad cutter see what happens and I will be surprised if it works. <laughs> Shh. 
shooting a little low. Ah! One misfire. Let's uh, keep it down range for a few seconds here. Go ahead and remove the magazine. And let's see if it has a round in it. It does. Huh. Light primer strike. Imagine that. Let's try that one more time. Three rounds left. Let's go three plates, three rounds, one-handed. Ah! You son of a bitch! You know, at least they put a good barrel in this. Well, that's the end of that. Try that again. One round. Right plate. Okay, I moved back a little bit. Let's see if I can hit at least two out of three. I'll take that. Let's do it again. I'll take that one too. You know, I was getting a lot of misfires at first, but it seems to be doing okay right now, but I don't still don't think I would recommend it. So you know what? I had a lot of misfires today. Now is it the firing pin? You know what? Probably not since it is a, a brand new firing pin. Most likely it's the mainspring and that's a spring that's located in this housing right here. And what it does is supplies power to the hammer. So basically it's a hammer spring. So I think if I replace that, uh, that might take care of the misfires. 
But I am going to change a lot of parts inside this and I may bring it back out and do another review on it. We'll see. But would I recommend one of these? No. Now, if you find one at a good price and you want to tear it apart and put in new parts, eh, you know, go for it. But if you're looking for a, a, a 45 and you come across one of these, I would pass on it. I would recommend probably a Rock Island Armory 1911 for under 500 bucks instead of one of these. But anyways, guys, I do appreciate you watching my video. Got one round left. And you know what? We'll see you next time.